Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today. Today's video is about all the beautiful children out there committing suicide because they're scared to go to school or they're scared to go to practice or they're scared to go anywhere because of the bully that no one's doing anything about. You don't want to miss this. Hi, my name is Chuck McGee. Thank you for tuning in to Sharing the Word of God, where we uplift and encourage others, and we never take our eyes, our hearts, and our minds off of God. If you're new to my channel, thank you for visiting. Press that subscribe button. We do weekly videos of Christian content. I do some uh, new vlogging, just to have a little bit of fun, but everything is about God on this channel. So thank you for subscribing, and thank you for joining our amazing community. And to all of you that have subscribed, thank you for watching my videos. I look forward to all of you guys making your videos and us collaborating back and forth, so thank you again. This video is about all of the beautiful children that are committing suicide. They're leaving us. They are leaving parents empty-handed because they're scared of being bullied. They're scared of being themselves. So many of us don't allow others to be themselves. It's great to be who you are. And it's even more wonderful when you find out who you are and you accept who you are and you just, you just do it and you don't care what other people think. So I'm making this video today because I'm going to dedicate it to the ones that I've looked up on the computer of the ones over the last couple of years that have taken their lives. And I want to pray for them and I want to let those parents know that I am here for them, that we are there for them, and we want to encourage parents to be better parents, to know their kids, to know what's going on. So let's get to dedicating this next segment to the wonderful children that have taken their lives. Kelly Yeomans, she's 13 years old, an English school girl from um, a suburb of Derby, became widespread news when the cause was blamed on bullying that she took her life. 13 years old and she took her life. Dawn Marie Wesley, 14 years old, Canadian high school student who died of suicide by hanging due to bullying. She committed suicide. She hung herself at 14 years old. Nicola Ann Raphael, age 15, a high school student died of suicide of an overdose due to um, bullying. An overdose she took some sort of drug to end her life because of bullying Ryan Halligan 13 was an American student from Vermont died by suicide at the age of 13 after allegedly being bullied by his classmate in person and online Megan Meyer 13 years old was an American teenager from Missouri who died by his hanging three weeks before her 14th birthday. The parents a year later investigated her suicide and it was attributed to cyberbullying through social network and websites like MySpace. Slejana from Mentor, Ohio hung herself at 16 years old by jumping from a window with a sheet wrapped around her neck. All due because of bullying. Phoebe Prince, 15 years old, American student who died of suicide by hanging following school bullying and cyberbullying. Her death led to a criminal prosecution of six teenagers for charges including civil rights violations. 15 years old, people. Tyler, age 18, at Rutgers University, jumped to his death from the George Washington Bridge. His roommate and fellow hallmate allegedly used a webcam to view him kissing another man and he found out about it and killed himself. Jamie Hubley, age 15, died of suicide in October of 2011. The Ottawa teen was subject to anti-gay bullying. She just couldn't handle it and so she committed suicide. Another Jamie, 
14 years old, was a bisexual teenager known for his activism against homophobia and his videos on YouTube to help victims of homophobic bullying. He died by suicide allegedly as a result of constant bullying. This young man was out there trying to make a difference and yet still committed suicide. Audria, 15 years old, a student attending her school, her high school in California, she died of suicide by hanging in September of 2012. She had been allegedly sexually assaulted by three teenage boys at a party eight days earlier, and pictures of the assault were posted online. Dominique killed herself by hanging at the age of 14 after bowling. She was a transgender and lived in a very Christian community that did not accept her decision to change her gender. 14 years old. And this is the latest one that's been happening over the last week or so. His name is Gabriel Tay and has been all over the news over the last couple of weeks. This young man was eight years old, eight years old, and tied a sheet around his neck and hung himself because of what happened to him at school. Now there's a video out there that shows him being knocked into a wall and unconscious in 18 different associates in that school or friends passed by him and never did one thing. 18 people. And it took over five minutes for a teacher to come to his aid. He eventually died because he, was, he hung himself. Eight years old. And I put a picture up of this young man. Look how beautiful this young man is. So handsome, a smile that can light up a room. And now he's dead. His mother has no son. Now, my point in making this video is that we need to start talking about this. We need to stop our beautiful young children from committing suicide. We need to start pointing the finger and not only pointing the finger, but we need to start seeing some action, what can be done. Let's talk about the parents of the children that committed suicide. Why don't you know what's going on? You hear a lot of these parents say, well, I didn't know he was being bullied. Why don't you know? If you know your children, if you're with your children, if, you, if you're a good parent, you'll know the changes. You'll see the changes in your child. You need to start opening your eyes. You need to start being better parents. And I'm not saying that all of you are not good parents, but something needs to be done. We need to step up and be in our children's lives. We need to be in their lives and know what's going on every single day to prevent from us losing more angels. We need to talk about the teachers. Why don't the teachers know about this? Come on, you hear things in school, you know what's going on. We need to stop ignoring the problem and start fixing the problem. Stop saying, oh, I don't wanna get involved. Well, that could be your child or that could be one of your friend's children that is killed or commits suicide because you didn't step up. School leaders, this all falls on you as well. Why aren't you there? Why aren't you educating these, these students? Why aren't you doing more to discipline the ones that are out there bullying? You know what's happening. You know what's happening. I don't need to say anything more. You know and hear what's happening. You need to step up and start doing something about it. More children are doing this every single day and we're losing more angels because we are not doing our job. And last but not least, the bully's parents. Shame on you, shame on you, shame on you. All of you should be held responsible for what's happening. And I don't wanna hear the excuse that you didn't know what's going on because that young man or young lady is probably bullying the, her brothers or sisters or even you in some cases. You hear about it all the time. It's time you take your home back. It's time you change this young man or young woman. Get them help, you need help. We all need help. We all need to do this together, but you need to recognize the fact that your son or daughter is either being bullied or be, or be bullying others, and it needs to stop. You need to start taking responsibilities, and I think it should go as far as saying that you should be charged if your child is a part of someone else's death. Someone needs to be charged about this. Some drastic changes need to be made. So in a lot of our videos, we always have a question to ask. 
someone. Everybody's saying, hey, I have a question for you and answer it down in the comments. Well, I don't have a question today, but I do have a request. I have a request to all of you that watch this video. I want you to take a few minutes and I want you to pray for all these kids who have committed suicide and all the other ones that I that I didn't uh, put in this video. And, and to all you parents that didn't see your children in this video, I apologize. But my point was trying to get this out to where these children are angels and they need our love and they need our help. So my request to you today is to pray for these families, pray for these children. Let's get this together. Let's ask God to fix the hearts of these families. Let's ask God to intervene and make these families change and, and direct their hearts and their minds to him. God is the only one that can change us. But if we pray more we can make a difference in all of this i appreciate all of you watching this video i'm sure a lot of you will have comments bring them on i will answer all the comments that i can but at the end of the day i just did this video because i the last the little boy and his smile it just broke my heart and i i jumped to this video and i wanted to get it done i wanted him to know that i'm so sorry that no one stepped up for him and i wanted all of them to know that I'm sorry that we didn't step up for them, but today we need to start stepping up for these children and start putting a stop to this bullying. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. I love you.